Hello my beautiful people, welcome back to my channel, my name is Yulia and you are my channel Miss Dubly, I'm a personal stylist and also a content creator and today you have a new styling video and in today's video I'm gonna show you how to style color. I know it's all about neutrals, the neutral aesthetic, the neutral outfits and I also love my neutral outfits and I actually have several videos on my channel where I show you how you can style your neutrals, but you guys... There are more in this world than all the shades of brown, black and white. So in today's video I'm going to show you six beautiful outfits and six ways how you can wear your colorful pieces. So if you're ready, let's jump into it. Before we start with this video, before we start with the outfits, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel and follow me on my Instagram and on my TikTok for more daily and fashion content. All the links to everything that I'm going to show you today will be in the description box. I'm also going to try to link this beautiful dress. It's from ASOS. Let's start with my colorful outfits. I know that wearing color can be a little bit difficult, it's definitely a little bit more risky than wearing your neutral tones. One of the easiest and uh, safest ways to style color is to wear matching pieces. In this case I'm gonna show you an outfit created with this beautiful suit that I also got from ASOS in this super trendy soft pink color. You can definitely cannot go wrong with a suit, black, white, pink, a red, whatever color it is, suit is always a good idea. So in this case we have a pants suit, we have this high-waisted wide leg pants and then a matching oversized blazer. I love this suit. I got it like a month ago and I wear it constantly. I wear the blazer by itself, I'm mixing it with my jeans or other bottoms and I also wear pants separately. In this case I uh, pair it with a really basic and simple white bodysuit. I'm always losing things that I need to show you in a video. I have no idea what it is. And then I added really neutral accessories and uh, that will be my recommendation. If you're wearing really bright pieces, make them the attention of your entire outfit and just complete your outfit with neutral accessories. I added this really simple chunky heel sandals from Nasty Gal. With this pants you can wear sneakers but they're a little bit longer so I would recommend to go with some heels. And added my Givenchy cross 3 bag. Um, I love this bag, it's one of my favorite bags definitely. This bag gives a little bit more casual vibe to an outfit even though you can definitely wear it with more like dressy night outfits but I really feel that it's a great daytime bag. confident wearing really bright colors I would recommend to mix your colorful pieces with neutral pieces and I'm gonna show you an example in my second outfit our colorful piece is this absolutely gorgeous satin slip dress from Forever 21 I showed it to you in my last haul I really like the color it's so refreshing but at the same time it's super feminine it's really my style right now you have this dress for less than $20 I believe and uh, I think that they also have it in different colors it's a pretty long dress I would say it's a little bit longer than a midi dress and it has a slit on the front really beautiful dress also love the coal neckline it's really flattering and it's definitely a really dressy option even though you can make it a little bit more casual if you will add a denim jacket for example but in this case I decided to add this super oversized white blazer from Nasty Gal. I got it last year and I love it. You can wear it in many different ways. It's super trendy. Wearing something a little bit more neutral. Really put more accent in your colorful piece. Added nude sandals and I feel that 
in all my outfits I'm wearing nude sandals I'm sorry about that but this is what I'm wearing right now I added this pair right here these are from Misguided I got them via ASUS these would be my sandals of this season that's for sure and not everyday pair of sandals I'm gonna show you my everyday pair of sandals a little bit later I added my Prada bag in this case I was wearing it as a clutch but that combination of blue and pink it's really beautiful really girly and uh, yeah why not to add a little bit more of color to our outfit Okay, outfit number three and in this case I'm gonna show you a little color blocking. On the bottom I'm wearing this pants from Zara. I actually have a matching blazer. This style of pants Zara has in I don't know how many colors and I don't know for how many seasons they are selling them. I got this pair last year but I'm 100% sure that right now Zara has them in different colors. I really really love the fit of this pants. I love them so much that I also got them in grey. And I wanted to create a really fun and colorful outfit but at the same time wearable. So I added this top right here in this aubergine color and even though these colors can look kind of similar they do a lot of contrast and that's our purpose with color blocking. This top is also from Zara, really simple square neck crop top and I think it looks fantastic with our pants and it's just such a easy look but at the same time so vibrant and so nice and once again I paired this look with really neutral accessories repeating with the sandals right here my nasty gal nude sandals chunky heel a little bit more comfortable like everyday sandals and of course in this video again I had to show you an outfit with my YSL my Saint Laurent envelope bag I tried different bags but honestly this was my best option you can definitely use this look to even go to the office probably on a Friday to finish uh, with a good mood the week you will definitely need to change the bag or you can also use this outfit for your weekends in the sunshine I'm a fool yeah I got love blind and ooh yeah I got my heart out and it's covered in gold like moonlight over Hollywood and it's cool yeah cause you know it's good oh baby Outfit number four, and when we're talking about colorful pieces, we definitely need to include prints and I wanted to show you an outfit including a beautiful floral print and in this occasion I decided to show you this beautiful absolutely spring screaming dress from Zara that I got last year look at this print it's a short dress and it's definitely a dress that I only wear during spring and summer you can wear it with a belt or without a belt and uh, even though it's a really dressy option I'm gonna show you a little bit more wearable way to wear a dress like this so for my shoes I decided to wear these mules right here these are from Vince Camuto I showed them to you already a couple of times and once again I need to tell you that these are the most comfortable heels that I own the heel is not really high and uh, they are perfect for every day they are super trendy with the square toe I got them via Amazon and uh, I got them for a really good price the original price of these mules is uh, $120 and I believe I got them for a less than 50 and they also have them in uh, different colors so if you like them definitely check the links in the description box and decided to match my shoes with my bag and added this small super cute bag from coach that I also got last summer you can wear it like this or you can wear it as a crossbody and in this case I was wearing it as a crossbody and even though it looks really small it fits your phone your card holder and your keys and a lipstick and that's everything that you actually need Baby, baby, don't be cold, I will warm you Every day I reach out to you as 
I'm gonna show you how you can mix your prints with your solid colorful pieces and this is actually one of my favorite outfits in this video our printed piece is gonna be this high-waisted pencil skirt it's a striped skirt in this like rusty red color from ASUS and I pair it with this bodysuit from H&M in this really bright red color I really think that red suits me this is definitely really beautiful, really feminine, really like girl boss outfit that I'm all about it. Once again, I have some nude sandals, what a surprise! And in this case I added these sandals from um, Public Desire that I got last year via ASUS with these clear straps. And our bag in this case is also sort of colorful. And I added my YSL camera bag in this burgundy color and I think the whole combination looks really great. I would personally leave this outfit more for the weekends to go to have lunch or brunch with your girlfriends or with your partner, but you decide. It really depends on your style and how comfortable you feel wearing this type of outfits. number six and in this case I'm gonna show you how by adding really small details you can change your entire outfit and make it stand out even more and actually in this case we have a monochromatic outfit and I love a monochromatic trend let's start with the bottom we have another pair of um, wide leg pants high-waisted this pair is from nasty girl they have a really thin fabric so they are perfect for this time of the year they have this sage color really similar to my dress that is definitely one of the color trends of this season and on top i was wearing this wrap blouse from a brand called frame this was a limited edition so i will definitely try to find something similar it's kind of easy and basic but at the same time it looks super nice and then i'm wearing the same sandals that in previous outfit you can wear any sandals you want because the pants are so long and they are so wide that you really don't see the shoes and then also repeating with my bag with my coach bag it was giving us a little bit more of contrast but i decided I decided to add something else to this outfit and I added this really simple small detail that I think makes such a big difference and uh, really adds something else to your outfit. I added this silk printed scarf and I just added to my bag and I think it looks super nice, it looks different and I really really like it. And this is definitely a perfect outfit for your weekends to walk around, really depends on the shoes that you will choose, but yeah, I think it's a really beautiful spring outfit. Baby, please, let me love 
Okay, my lovely ladies, this is the end of this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. It was pretty difficult to me to film this video because while I'm filming, my husband was on a meeting talking all the time. So instead of spending like 20, 25 minutes filming, I spent like an hour trying to speak while he's not speaking. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed it. I really hope you got some inspiration for your spring summer outfits. Which outfit was your favorite one? I really hope that I will be able to upload this video on Friday. So happy Friday, happy weekend. Let me know your plans for this weekend. I have a lunch with friends. That's the fun part. I need to work and I need to do something not that fun. Something big is going on in my life right now but i'm not gonna be talking about this right now you will need to wait to see it in my next vlogs please make sure to give a super big thumbs up to this video and subscribe to my channel i upload several videos per week uh, related with fashion lifestyle and traveling you're actually gonna have a traveling vlog really really soon that i already filmed because last weekend i was somewhere and if you follow me on my instagram you would already know but if you don't you definitely should click on that button and also follow me on my instagram and on my tiktok for more fashion content if this video will go live on friday the next video will go live on sunday and it's gonna be a fashion haul so i definitely hope to see you there Mwah. bye bye